again, everybody. Now I'm uh, back out here with the old wood gas Cavalier. And if y'all remember, I built this gasifier. Haven't been making videos for a little while. Been pretty busy with work and other stuff, <laughs> you know, life. But anyway, uh, this car, uh, we all know what the value of this car really is. Uh, I said it in the previous video. Uh, this car basically has the value of whatever scrap price you could get out of it if you hauled it off. So, um, I have patched some brake lines on it. And every time I patch a brake line, of course, there is rust all through the entire brake system. that needs wheel cylinders in the back. Um, the front brakes actually are new. Uh, they were put on before I parked it. So, front brakes... Are pretty good besides the lines leading to the front brake rubber line on the uh, passenger side I think is clogged up it won't allow fluid to go through so I'd have to buy a rubber line uh, pretty much all of the metal lines for safety would need to be replaced from one end to the other every metal line on the car uh, the, uh, Fuel line, which the fuel pump won't work anyway. I had to, uh, I had to fix it, but the fuel pump don't even pump anyway, so it didn't matter. Now, everything that I'm listing here costs money, of course. So, uh, like I said, it's going to very far exceed the uh, value of the car. I was going to try to drive this thing around some, but in interest of public safety. <laughs> I've drove it in and out of the hauler some, and uh, it will run great on the gasifier. The gasifier seems to work. I'm wanting to go ahead and start with putting the gasifier, which that's what it's actually made for. I want to put that gasifier in the truck. Now I'm going to have to up the restriction size, and I'm going to have to change a couple other things. I'll probably get another 55-gallon drum for the whole thing to sit down in, so it will look more like a traditional gas fire. But uh, the heat exchanger will still be where it is right now. And I'll just run out of the heat exchanger into, I'll probably use these rails and make another set identical to them to go across the front of the truck bed. And I'm gonna make rails to go down the sides. Yes, I'm pretty much giving up on the Cavalier because well, the car is just not worth putting the money into that it's going to take to get it properly running on wood gas, which it runs on it, but driving safely on wood gas, which also means that at some point in your drive, you're going to have to stop. And right now, this car does not stop very good unless you pull the emergency brake, and that's not safe. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, One thing I do want to know is are we making tar is the uh gasifier really running as good as i think it is uh because if it's making tar and there's a couple of times now um i didn't allow it to heat up like i should have i don't think um it's pretty much just been sitting here in the yard running not necessarily driving up and down the road but still even at idle, and uh, well, sitting and revving it up and playing with it, um, it could have made some tar. And we should be able to tell by looking into the intake and just seeing what we've got. So, with that said, I need to probably take this engine, or take the valve cover off at least. Um, I need to be able to look back into the intake or the, uh, the plenum. So, we're going to have to take couple of parts off. Since we were using wood that uh, may not have been completely as dry as it should have been, I do have a moisture meter now to test it with. And uh, now the next batch that I, or the, the batch that I made, uh, you've seen the 55 gallon drum that I used. I put wood in it and I heated it up. Now that wood's fine. The wood I used previous to that uh, I thought was dry enough. It may not have been. It may have been moisture from the atmosphere. I don't know. But there was moisture 
that was getting uh, these pipes. You could take these pipe caps off, and when you did, water would come out. And I'd already emptied out the moisture, so you're not going to see it, but I'll tell you, there was moisture in here. There's still a little bit in here. There was moisture laying in down in here. It hadn't sucked all that into the engine, but I'm sure some of it had to have got into the engine. The moisture had some soot in it. It was real sooty black water. And I don't know if some of that was tar or if it was just soot, but I don't really want that getting into the engine. So next time I'm gonna know, running uh, the air bilge blowers, I need to run them before it gets up here. See, that was another thing I was doing wrong. I was hooking my bilge blower here. So any tars or anything or any moisture that did make it past the filter was being drawn all the way up here. And you don't want that. So I've got to change that. So when I rebuild it for the truck, or when I redo it for the truck, I'm going to have a condensate tank under the back, and I'm going to have my bilge blowers uh, drawing from the condensate tank and then I'll have a valve to close and after you close that valve then the engine will draw the air or the gas from the condensate tank up into the hay filter okay so we're taking all this off it's pretty simple I've already got this one it was just taped around back here I never did get the right cable because I was discovering problems with it, like I just told you. Crazy, but that little wrench did great on them. Now we'll take this loose too. I don't want to break this wire. We might have to reuse that on the truck. And I don't want to get it shortened out against the alternator either. Okay, pull this out. And okay. You can see we have some residue inside here. I don't know if that was there before. I reused this and just kind of cut it off to fit onto here. Now one thing that I'm seeing here. If you look in here, there's a lot of soot. And I'm not filtering out all the soot that I would like to because as you can see, yeah. And I would not be able to have a paper filter on this because that much soot, it would clog it up really quickly. Yeah, there's this is of soot too and that is i bet i've drove this car i don't know i've got maybe a couple of hours of runtime on it so that is not exactly long term so it's a lot of soot now a lot of the running also has been sitting because like i said the car has no brakes and I am not putting the money into it to fix brakes, so. Okay, and then in here, there is a little bit of moisture on the bottom of this pipe. Finger is already dirty, so. Okay, there, clean my finger off a little bit. See what we got? There. That is the, doesn't seem to be any tar. Smells like smoke. There we go. Let's see the inside. It's not clean. We're going to need more filtration. Or some type of better filter. Okay, so. I mainly just want to pull the valve cover off. And I want to make sure that everything moves like it should.
there are valves. Or there. We have access to our valves. Okay. So. Okay, so the quickest and easiest way, now that we got the cover off, quickest and easiest way I can think of to figure out if all of these are moving, I'm going to cross over the starter and try to see if you can tell if all of those valves are moving. They are all moving, no valves stuck. So, this engine should be fine. All right, so with that little test, we can tell that uh, none of the valves are stuck, so we must not have made very much tar. Okay, if you look inside of the throttle plate here, it looks pretty good. I don't even really see much soot. Uh, most of the soot apparently was in the pipe here. But apparently there must not be much inside there because this engine still lets the valves move like they should. Now this one I think needs adjusted. But yeah, they all move very nicely. Now there is a possibility that maybe there may be some stuff on the valve that might be holding it open a little. Um, like I said, the engine was running okay, but after I shut it off, I come back out a while later. It was a little while, and this felt sticky. It may have just been my imagination, because I don't even see anything in there that would have stuck it. So, yeah. I think this engine is just fine. So, that means that our gasifier was not making tar. Our gasifier was making a lot of soot, though. So, we know we need more filtration, and we need to make sure that we get our gasifier hot before bringing the gas up to the engine. I need to make my blowers before the filter so that it's not running the filtered air because that's, that's going to just clog my filters up quickly too. Um, I think that's where I was getting all the soot. So this, because as you can see, there's a lot of soot in these pipes, but there's not very much inside of there. We didn't stick any of our valves, so I think we're fine. Yes, I could fix it. Um, I could I could put this car on the road, but like I said, it's going to cost more than what the car's worth. And my eventual uh, intention is to put the gasifier in the Silverado. So that's going to be our next step. I'm going to put this back together. Now, I do have a little plan with this engine because this engine is still good. Okay, so this engine, I'm thinking of pulling the engine out because the engine is still good. Um, Transmission makes some noise, so I'll probably just leave the transmission with the car when it goes to the junkyard. But the engine is still good. Uh, running on wood gas, it runs really good. And I have a generator head, pretty good size generator head. Well, it's not huge, but it's a pretty good size generator head. And it really doesn't need a four-cylinder engine, but I've got a four-cylinder engine, so why not? At least this has been a pretty good proof of concept. And I know I haven't driven on wood gas for a long time and learned all about it, but I've learned some stuff that I can apply to my truck, which, of course, that is the ultimate goal of this project, is not to run the car off of wood, but to run my truck off of wood safely and not hurt my truck. Um, so this was a sacrificial car. And... Uh, it's going to be sacrificed because it's going to the junkyard. But anyway, I guess that's going to about do it for this video. I'm just going to slap all this back together. And uh, we know what we're going to do with the car now. But anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. And I'll see y'all on the next one.